the agreement is based upon three main points. One is to stop the loss of wages and pensions and start to recover them. The second point is to uh, protect welfare state and stop privatizing all the economic uh, strategic sectors of our economy. And the third point uh, is about collective bargain. Uh, it's about uh, workers' rights that were destroyed these years and now we are um, we, we had a calendar of how to rebuild these rights along the time. I think there are two different things that happen. One is that the right is very radical right now. So even the socialists that are a center party that is normally ally with the right now feel the need, or some of it, feel the need to have other people to talk to because the, the rapid the destruction of workers' rights and of welfare, uh, it's something that made the alarm <laughs> rung in the, some socialists' heads, at least. The other very different thing is the, is the elections, the result of the elections. One million people voted for the left, wanted to change, but didn't want to have the socialists again in the government. So right now, Bloc de Esquerda and also the Communist Party are relevant enough in the parliament so that they, we can make an agreement with the Socialist Party and our views have, uh, have, are strong enough to change what would be the Socialist uh, program if we didn't have these strengths now in the parliament. The immediate consequences of the agreement are at two levels. One level, the institutional level, now you have a clear majority in the parliament to sustain a socialist government, a government by the Socialist Party, and we have uh, rejected the program of the right-wing parties, and so their government was dis dismissed. We now do not have a government, and we have a majority in the parliament that is supported by the left. The other consequence is a, a more external level, and it has to do both with hope and with fear. We have hope from the people that is now looking forward what we are going to be able to, to change in this country. But we also have a fear of uh, finance, of the Uni um, European Union, of what we are going to change in this country. And right now uh, we have a, a strange situation in Portugal, because we have a stable majority in the parliament, but the president uh, still hasn't uh, allowed us to make a government. So, um, but I believe we will be forced to do it in the next days. The agreement stops the, stops the lowering of wages and pensions and stop the poverty process that is going on in, on, in the Portuguese society, but doesn't transform really the economy. We always said, and, and we, we, we believe it, that we need to uh, have a, a public death uh, restructuration process so that you can have the means to answer to basic questions like giving some kind of support to over 700 uh, people that are unemployed and don't receive anything and so they, don't, uh, they have nothing or to be able to make the lower pensions that are uh, below the poverty line to, to become higher and to can keep up with minimum wage for instance and uh, those kind of questions are not in this agreement. And that is why also this will be a uh, government by the Socialist Party with our support in the Parliament. It's not a coalition government. We will not be in the government. There are conditions to a stability because it stops poverty and it protects welfare. But it's not large enough. It doesn't have the transformation that we stand for. So we cannot be in the government.
we will keep on to, to, to make projects and initiatives about what we believe it's important to do in Portugal. But we have also done something that I think is important. The Socialist Party has agreed to make a, a group that can study the external debt, the Portuguese external debt and its sustainability. Mm -hmm. And that will be important because I think that will give us some technical information about what can we pay, how can we pay it. And I think that is an ongoing debate on the Portuguese society. We have uh, voices from left to right saying that our debt problem is very, it, it's huge and it needs to be tackled. So I think a working group with uh, its technical, but it will also give us some, uh, some more information and, and we'll make it coarse so that the problem is not swept to, <laughs> uh, because it's there and it needs to be tackled. Uh, the, the program of the Socialist Party is not a transformation program as it was the first program of Syriza. So we are talking about different levels. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Socialist Party has more allies in Europe, we know that. But we do believe that to be able to regain uh, wages and salaries and to protect welfare, we will need to have another position in Europe and we will need to tackle the debt problem. And so again, I think that uh, existing of a, the existence of a group to deal with the debt will be, although it's not the public debt, it's all external debt, but it, it's all a problem for Portugal. I think it will give us more instruments to be able to deal with uh, the pressure that this government will inevitably have uh, on the European Union.